we talk about filling up our emotional bucket, so if we pretend that we've got a bucket or a tank and every time something nice happens it fills up our emotional tank. But every time we do some caring for other people, that tank starts to deplete. So it's really important that we think about what are the things that are actually going to fill up our emotional tank. It might be that we find a hobby that we enjoy, or it might be that we learn to practice meditation, particularly in times of great stress where we need to perhaps just take a deep breath, count to 10, or even count to five before we respond to a child. The way that we feel about ourselves is transferred to young children. Young children, babies, toddlers are just starting to learn about the world around them, and they gain their sense of self from the way that other people interact with them. So at first they don't have their own identity, their identity comes from the adults around them. So it's really important when we're tired, when we're sleep deprived, what we do is we often lash out at the people that are closest to us and often that's our, our children. But on the other hand, we know that being a parent is about making choices in the moment and we all make mistakes. So we're not expecting people to be perfect. So it's really important that we're not blaming ourselves but that we're not actually transferring that to children and that we're not ignoring children as well. So using I messages is really important. We want children when they've done something wrong or when they're feeling upset to come to us. The way that they learn that is that if we've done something out of the heat of the moment, we've said something, we've growled at them, that we go to them and we say that we're sorry. So we need to do things like say to them, I'm really sorry, I was really tired, it wasn't your fault when I yelled at you. So the most important part is to preserve the relationship, but it's also in preserving the relationship, what we need to do is learn how to repair the relationship. And that's by making sure that we check in with children, we see how they're doing, but we also make sure that we're saying sorry quite a bit of the time.